In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert this Photoshop design into a fully working website. If you need access to this Photoshop file, I've got the link in the show notes below. All right, so the first thing you want to do is to add guidelines. So I'm just going to add the guidelines. Okay, we've added our guides. So the next thing you want to do is to disable the navigation layer. So to do that, I'm just going to disable it here and also disable the logo. All right, so the next step is to slice this document. So to do that, you're going to come up here, press and hold, and then select the slice tool. So you want to slice all the images, just the images. Okay, so all our images are sliced. The next thing you want to do is to export this. You may notice that I haven't sliced um, the testimonial section and also the map. Now these two sections can be added at a later stage once we start building the website. Okay, so to export these images, what you want to do is to hold down the Shift, Alt, Command and S. So you're going to get this box. Now what you want to do here is to label these images. Okay, so all the images are now labeled. So what I'm going to do now is to click and hold the Shift key to select all the images that I need to export like that. And then once you've done that, all you need to do here is to click on save. Okay, so all our images are now exported. So the next stage now is to bring all these images into a fully working design. In order for you to build your website, you need to have three things. You need to have a domain name, hosting, and also WordPress. So in my example, I've, I've already got a domain name, I've set up my hosting, and I've installed WordPress. If you'd like links to register your domain name and your hosting, you can always check the comments down below. So Divi is a WordPress framework which allows you to build beautiful websites and basically have any sort of layout that you want. Okay, so I've installed Divi. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create a new page and I'm just gonna call this one restaurant. And then I'm gonna click here on this blue button which says use Divi Builder. Right, so the first thing you want to do is to add a column. So I'm going to click on that. And then to add the background uh, image, the main image, I'm going to click on settings. And then I'm going to upload our main image. If you need access to these images, all you have to do is to go to creativeastro.tv and you'll find all the links to the images that I've used to build this website. The first image I need is the main image. So I'm going to double click on that. And then I'm going to set that as the background. So I'm going to do a quick preview and then I'm going to save and exit. So the next section is this section where we have these four pictures and one big one. So the sections that we're going to need are this one. The first thing I want to do is I'm going to insert a module. So I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to add an image, upload the image, select files, set as image and then I'm going to scroll down for the link URL I'm just going to add a blank link for now and then I'm going to save and exit I'm going to do the same here add an image image URL and then upload and then set as an image and then save and exit so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to publish and um, take a look at how the website looks so far so I'm going to click on publish and then I'm going to view the page. Okay, so so far we have our two images and we have our main image. Okay, so I'm going to go back and add the other images. So I've added all the images now. So let's take a look at what the website looks like. So I'm going to hit refresh. We can see all our images are now in place. So the next thing we're going to do is to add the testimonial. So we're going to come back here add a standard section, one column, and then the module we're going to add is a testimonial module. So I'm going to scroll down here until I find testimonial. So it's right here. Author name. So I'm just going to add Susan. Okay, I'll leave the company name and the company URL. So the portrait image, I'm just going to go to upload image. And then I'm going to find that image. Okay, so this is the image. I'm going to double click on that. 
set as image. The quote icon, I want to disable that. Use background color, I'm going to say no. And then this is where I need to add the text and just paste it. So I'm going to do a quick preview before I save the changes. Okay, that looks really nice. Okay, I'm going to save and exit and click update. So we're going to go back here and refresh the page and see what it looks like. So we can see that the two sections, the testimonial section and the section where we have uh, the special offer menu and takeaway menu all have the same background color. So what you need to go ahead and do is to just change the background color just to separate the two areas. So I've gone ahead and done that. So you can see that looks way much better now. We have a separation between the two sections. So the last thing we're going to do is to add the map. So I'm going to add a full width section, insert module, and then this module is going to be a full width map. I'm going to add a new pin. Pin address is basically your address. Paste the address in there. And then I'm going to click find. And then we can see here it's found our location. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. So now when we scroll down, you can see we have a map. So pretty much this is what resembles what we designed in Photoshop. So let's take a quick look. Yep, so we've got the testimonial section and we also have the map section. So to make the large image show, what you need to do is to come here in the settings and add padding to that image. So I'm going to scroll all the way down until I find padding. So all you need to do is to add padding bottom of 600 pixels and then you save and exit. So I'm going to click on update and then we're going to take a look at how that looks now. So we've got the large image now and then we can see all our elements that we've um, that we have in the Photoshop document are all in the website. So this is how I convert a Photoshop design into a fully working website. If you'd like to learn more about how to design websites, we've got a full course on how to design websites and uh, it covers things like building your pages, adding content like videos onto your website. So head over to creativeastro.tv and sign up for our online training course. Thank you for watching and please share this video.